All right, we're going to go ahead and set up our account at No Red Ink, which is a grammar learning website. And all of the tools that we use in this class are free. And many are freemium, which means there is a, a for pay version that you can use, but please don't pay for any of these tools. Um, you can get a lot of benefit from them for free. And um, I think the rest you can do on your own. Um, what we're going to do, uh, for most of these, we'll just click an image and it will open a link. So for No Red Ink, we're going to click this image, which will take us to a setup page at No Red Ink. And um, let me pull that window over here. I have two accounts running. I have a student account and a teacher account. So this is what the teacher account would look like. So this is the setup for the fall 2020 daytime language arts and social studies class. So if that's correct, we're going to click sign up with Google. And this is where you would enter your Google uh, account information. If you have more than one account, which I do, uh, you can opt to use another account. I use this name for my student identity. So I can learn right along with you. All right, so this is our first. Um, we've got an assignment due already. It looks like this guy has two, two assignments due. Um, so when you get this set up, uh, you can go ahead and start uh, practicing. But another thing I'd like to go over, when you set up the account, because my account's already set up, there will be a couple of things you have to do. Use the Google login option when you can. And then one thing that confuses students is this um, interests. When you're setting up your account, you have to pick some uh, celebrities or the names of famous people. And um, they have all sorts of different ones, starting with um, television names of people. And they will use these names in sentences. And then you have to find the mistakes. So they want to use sentences that you are familiar with. So all you need to do is select things. If you like Shrek, you can have Shrek appear. Um, High School Musical. You just need to make this green bar go all the way across. Thomas the Tank Engine. Looks like I have enough. And then you can click Continue. It will use those words for you. You can later go back in and change your interests or add to them. One that I like to use, um, there are a lot of different categories. I like to use friends and I put in the names of my friends and um, just add, I'll add my wife's name then they'll make funny sentences with that and I'll add our cat, uh, she's female and um, I guess pets go down here. I'll just put a different friend in here and I'll add a pet. Chomsky, there's one. Another one. Velcro. All right, so if you add pets or um, football players, if you like the NFL, whoever you want to add, there's Russell Wilson. If you're a Seahawks fan, just go ahead and populate that list with names. Um, you can delete the ones you don't like, like if you outgrow Dory and Thomas the Tank Engine, you can remove those and then just keep going and finish up the... Uh, registration process, and then you can start doing your homework. Awesome. All right, have fun with it. If you run into problems, come 